Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we're taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called 3D Game Props. Now there's a lot within this pack, and I want to try and get through as much as possible without dragging the video on too much, because there is a lot to see in here. So quantity-wise, there is a lot. So I've got the demo scene that is loaded up here, and you can just see how much there is. And there's all types of different environments that can be used within this, and it is really, really amazing. All the way from something like a fantasy RPG, to a, a road, to, you know, some kind of shipping environment, uh, like a, a dock or something. So there's, there's a lot to choose from here. Uh, one of the biggest drawbacks of this is the way all the folders are laid out, because there is no specific... Um, folder for it. As you can see, as I've imported it, we've got an FBX folder, a materials folder, uh, prefabs and scenes here, and it's got that there. I've got some other stuff in here as well, because obviously I review a lot of things, but I don't like the way it is laid out. It could have done with all being inside one uh, top level folder, but yeah. it, it still doesn't deter from the fact that there is a lot of stuff here, and it is nice quality as well. Um, so we've got all the prefabs here, so we've got the fences, we've got all the medieval stuff, road stuff, uh, vegetation. There is just simply loads to use in this package, and I really, really love the amount that's actually in here. It's crazy. It is crazy, and it is free at the time of doing this recording as well, which is always a good thing. But remember, prices do change from time to time. Just keep that in mind. Um, package content size is 216 meg. That's quite large by some standards, but remember the amount of objects and assets you're getting within this package. So extras, I don't think we can really go down the extras route because there is th there is loads here. If you want to consider any of this extras, that's entirely up to you. But it does say around 185 is in the package, so this is the quantity that we get. So if we look at some of these, I really like how they're designed and you're not all restricted to just, for example, how they look. You could take this and go a lot further. So, for example, this wheel here, you could just increase the normal map on it to give it that kind of look or change it to uh, an albedo alpha, increase the metallic feel of it. You could do that. Same with this gravestone here. You know, you don't have to just stick with what you're given. You can work your way around with it. You can give it a darker look if you wanted to. And maybe add a little bit of metallic to it. Increase the smoothness. And then you can see how they look. They look a bit grittier now. So this comes down to the customization of what you're creating here. Never just use assets as they come from the asset store. Always play around with them and always see what you can do, even just by changing the materials. Let's change these to a darker kind of orangey color and increase the metallic look and let's increase the normal map there we go so again it's all down to your personal preference now i like some of these here because they are medieval and they can be used in those fantasy rpg kind of games and then down here you've got real like a fantasy like i think of skyrim or oblivion i guess uh then you've got your trees over here fences then you move on to all these and these would actually do quite well in, you know, an open world city game. And to be honest, I may end up using some of these in some of my tutorials. I actually like that, some fancy road. <laughs> That's clever. I like that. So we've got road closed here. I particularly do like these road closed signs. Um, and I think I'm actually going to use them in some of my tutorials. And I'm sure you guys probably know which tutorial I would end up using it in. Uh, but again, you're not restricted to just how it looks. I guess you could change it, you know, bright pink there if you wanted. Uh, let's increase the metallic look a bit. Do that. I guess it's all down to your personal preference and what you want to do with it. I always love playing around with metal as well because you can change it and make it a little bit crazy. There we go. So if we do that, increase the normal map. Real gritty metal now. It's cool. So yeah, I would, uh, if you get this package, I would probably suggest just playing around with it and see what you get. So the usefulness, I think, is just endless because there is something in here for almost every game. If you've got a school, for example, you could have a fire extinguisher. If you've got a dock, you've got all these here. If you've got a park, you've got your trees, you've got a bench. There's just so much here. Its usefulness is probably endless. 
Um, so, as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't. And I would recommend this to everybody. There is something in here that you can learn from or can use or can just play around with or even just create a little standalone product for you to test, you know, like a prototype. There is something in here for everyone. And it's not just down to uh, how they look because you can easily apply your own textures if you wanted to. You could easily apply your own little bit of magic to it and make it your own. Like these gravestones, for example, they were not plain, but they weren't exactly gritty and grotty. And they are now just with a quick little change of the material. Same with this metal here. So yeah, I would recommend this because there's something for everyone here. There's something useful for everyone. So guys, have you used anything from this asset? If you have, let me know in the comments below because I'd love to know your thoughts on what you've used for and even you know, a glimpse of your game with these assets in. And if you've got an asset on the asset store, let me know as well because I'd love to check it out. Finally, guys, don't forget, click on that subscribe button. Click on the bell icon as well to keep notified of everything I upload about video game developments on my channel because I upload every single week. I upload many videos a week and there's always something new to learn and see. Guys, thank you very much for watching.